Who do you think the best marketer in the Super Bowl was this year? I think it was the NFL themselves for three core reasons. I call it the three C's. The first C stands for culture, which is the Taylor Swift effect. Now it's true that the NFL just fell into this relationship between Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. It was dumb luck, but they were all over it from the beginning. And that's a sign of a great marketer today. They move the speed of culture and jump on trends that are relevant to them because they know they could disappear tomorrow. Taylor alone has generated over $330 million in free value for the NFL this season based upon the spike in TV ratings from the games she's attended, plus all the extra PR. To put this in perspective, that's 70% higher than all the salaries of the Kansas City Chiefs active players this season. She's also bringing in a whole new female demographic that the NFL hasn't seen at such scale before, driving advertiser demand from such companies as Dove, Elf, and L'Oreal. The second C, it stands for creators or influencers. The NFL hosted influencers at games all year long to boost ratings and it worked. Whether you're the NFL or a small brand, aligning with the right influencers is the best way to connect with your audience and promote your product. The NFL sent more influencers to the Super Bowl this year and it wasn't just the social celebrities. They sent Mary Martinez, who's a school teacher who uses football statistics to teach math. They also understand the power of supporting local communities, which is the third C. If the Travis Taylor relationship lasts, it's bound to be a record year next year. If you like this post, thanks for following me and sharing it below. I appreciate you.